If you don't know by now, I'm talking about that saloon life, baby. Gamersaloon.com. Sign up now. Welcome. Welcome. King. A sneaker is a commodity. It should be dead simple to buy a dead stock pair. Welcome to StockX, an actual stock market for sneakers. Every pair of sneakers sold on StockX passes through our trading floor, where dudes who look like James Harden make sure you never get scammed ever again. Now that's a legit check. The only thing more legit would be if dudes who look like Wale come in and do the voiceovers. But let's get straight into this first matchup, man. We don't want to hold you back from the action any longer. We got my man Swizzy taking on drag. Seattle versus Cardinals. After this first game, guys, we're going to hop straight into catching you guys up. We're starting a little bit late. Had a few technical difficulties. But now that that has been resolved, what is going on and how are you guys doing out there? Make sure y'all hit that follow button and uh, show our sponsor some love. We got Gamer Saloon holding it down. Again, powering this thing. Get this up for you guys here. Jerky XP representing for Detroit. And um, if you guys ever need some fuel while you're playing... Beef jerky is a great option. Why? It tastes amazing. For one, I mean, who doesn't love jerky? Two, on top of that, this is some of the best jerky you guys are going to have. I mean, they got all kind of varieties and flavors. You can go get that little cheap jerky at the store, or you can get yourself some wonderful jerky XP. Get turned up. It's what I eat now when I play. I was like... There's no way this jerky's different, but I tried it, and I was like, oh, my gosh. So now I got to get this. Like, I got to get it in bulk right now. I, I need it somehow in bulk shipped to me ASAP because this stuff is the bomb. Every time I game, and I know I'm playing for a few hours, that's going to be my food of choice moving forward. And then our big sponsor, StockX.com. If you guys love shoes, if you're a shoe fanatic, you think you got the hottest shoes around? Maybe you got some shoes. You don't know what they're worth. I don't know. But if you are into shoes whatsoever, StockX.com. Check it out ASAP. So those are our sponsors, guys. What's going on, Gamer Salute? What's going on, d Rec 93 in the house. Right now, we are watching Drag versus Swizzy. These are two competitors from our previous season. And uh, if you guys did not know, Drag, in fact, was on one of our playoff teams. And uh, they, in fact, did do pretty darn decent, man. If you guys do not remember how intense it was in the playoffs last season, this is just week one. The fun is just beginning. You guys know we always start a little bit crazy. But every week is going to count. We got eight weeks, eight teams. On the eighth week, we're going to be in the playoffs. So similar format to last season with a couple differences that I want to make you guys aware of. One, every week, these guys are going to be playing not once, but twice. All the competitors will be going at each other's throats two times. So if somebody gets lucky, they get a chance at revenge. If somebody feels like they can dominate, they can go for that 2-0. So if you guys can tweet out this stream, man, that would be much appreciated. A change of plans. We are not going to be on Tuesday nights anymore. We will be here at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time each and every Wednesday for the next, what do we got, 9, 10 weeks? Man, it's going to be crazy. So for the next nine weeks, guys, this being the first week of it, we're going to be here 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. We got seven weeks of regular season. Four teams are going to make the playoffs. 
and we are only going to crown one champion. What is the prize this time? We got some sponsors. You know, what's the turn up? So we still got $1,500 going out to the champs. Not only that, they're going to get a bundle of jerky. I, I need a bundle of jerky, man. I'm jealous of that, man. I'm low key. I want the jerky more than the money. Bundle of jerky from our sponsors, Jerky XP. Shout outs to them. And again, big ups to Stock X and Gamer Saloon, all bringing this together to make it happen for you guys. And let's go ahead, get straight into this ball game. He has a man open downfield. He's doing a little bit of playmakering. Slides down and picks up about five on that play. So very good play there for Mr. Russell Wilson. Um, finds Doug Baldwin. Doesn't get too much of a gain, but definitely makes third down a lot more manageable. What is happening, true boy? And as always, guys, be active in the chat. Chat love is always appreciated. You guys know you're going to get some love. And... I must say, we may have some giveaways going on in the chat throughout the weeks, but I'll keep details about that zipped up until we get everybody in here, man. Like I was saying, though, this is going to be wild. So right now, Swizzy's moving the ball down the field pretty easily right now. Um, he's got the ball down to the six. Let me uh, actually update these names for you guys so that they are on the correct side of the screen. As you guys know, some people get confused. But Drag is, in fact, using the Cardinals. And Swizzy is, in fact, using the Seahawks. Two very popular teams from the previous season. And we've talked about the good attributes of both of them. But for those of you that are new, let's catch up. So the Seahawks, they've really just got about everything that you can look for in a Madden team. They've got a phenomenal defense. Really no flaws on the defensive side. Hey, might be some jerky giveaways, true boy. Might be some jerky giveaways. I'm just saying. Shout outs to Jerky XP. So y'all going to want to make sure you're active in the chat. Get some jerky giveaways for you guys. Also, with that being said, let's finish up on these Seahawks recap and then we'll get into this ball game. So the Seahawks... Really just got everything defensively. They got Sherman. They got really good safeties. A solid defensive line with some fast athletic linebackers. And just dudes that can make plays. Offensively, they got a mobile quarterback who's pretty accurate. Uh, not the most accurate, but pretty accurate. They've got a very solid tight end. Their backfield is really, really good. Marshawn Lynch retired, but he's still in the game. And uh, they've got some other athletic halfbacks as well that can be nice receivers. And... Um, faster guys as well so that's um you know pretty much the recap there uh as far as their wide receivers go they don't have the best possession guys which is a big flaw with them just like you've seen that drop right there so if they have to catch the ball in traffic more times than not they're not going to come down with the reception but they are fast and a beautiful play right there from the drag of swizzy <laughs> Nice little route right there to the tight end. So they've got a couple tight ends that are solid. You know, you got Jimmy Graham, who used to be really good. Now he's solid. But, um, yeah. So, fourth and one, he converts, gets the touchdown. Now let's talk a little bit about the Cardinals and what makes them good, why people enjoy using them. These guys are the pros, the best of the best. And when you're playing against the best, you want to make sure you have – your best chance and your best team out there. So that's why you're going to see the same teams uh, from time to time because you want to use whoever you feel gives you the best chance. And the Cardinals. Let's talk about them. First off, defensively, they just gave up a big drive, but they've got very good corners. Uh, Matthew in the sa <clears throat> playing safety is just an animal. They've got Buchanan, also a very athletic safety. Good linebackers, good defensive line. I mean, really, defensively, they're about as flawless as you can get. Offensively, they have possession-wide receivers. So the Seahawks have really good fast agility, get away from guys, get some separation due to their speed. 
Whereas the Cardinals, they've got guys like Fitz, Floyd. They've got great route running. They can catch in traffic. If they get one-on-one, they can go for that aggressive catch that everyone loves so much or hates. I don't know. You be the judge. You love it when you get it. You hate it when it happens to you. <clears throat> and along with that, they've got three really good running backs. David Johnson, Chris Johnson, and not to mention Andre Ellington. All three of those guys really fast, can catch very well. And then they've got uh, Mr. Brown at wide receiver for a speedster and a couple okay tight ends. So that's pretty much the summary of the Cardinals. Oh, at QB, they've got a, a accurate quarterback. His one flaw, again, is going to be his mobility is a little bit lacking uh, in that department. But with all that said, Let's get straight into this gameplay. Drag is on offense here. Swizzy on defense. And then we will kind of introduce you guys to a lot of the new features and things that we have um, available to you guys so that you can follow throughout the season. Last season, we had some good stuff. This season, we have some great stuff. I mean, the links, the player cards, oh my gosh, it is ridiculous the amount of goodies that you have available at your fingertips while you're at home so you can follow in case you miss a week you better not miss no weeks though you guys know this gameplay is absolutely crazy but in case you do miss a week you guys can go back catch some recap on what you missed out on and um again all powered by oh my goodness oh my goodness what foolishness just occurred there the pass was tipped by a defender then a wide receiver then a defender again i'm very surprised that did not end up as an interception wow oh wow man that could have been crazy <laughs> that would have been a very very tough break for drag but drag again is in a fourth and nine situation and you never want to be on fourth down because you just never know what's going to happen you can see swizzy using the very popular loop concept there on defense if you guys are playing mutt salary cap trying to compete um if you are playing on saloon for the bread pretty much anywhere you play competitive madden you are going to see the loops and the loops can be annoying uh some of them with certain setups are unslidable they are just very annoying at times and they can be a very effective defensive strategy to stop the pass, get some pressure on the QB, and it could be very random pressure. It might get picked up one time, and the next time, a guy just comes in on that loop and blitz angle untouched. So a very, very good defensive scheme. We've seen it a lot last season from VTech. He kind of made it popular, and it has been spreading ever since, and I imagine it's going to be even more popular this season. So with that said, Second and 11, see some big nickel strong. This was a formation I really liked early in the year. You could get some really crazy B gaps and A gaps out of it. Um, has since been patched quite a bit, but definitely has some really good edge and B gap pressure still that you can create from this formation when trying to slow down the passing attack. So let's see what he's got cooked up here. If he's got that pressure, he tries to get it, does pick it up. And Drag is able to get a man in the flat and pick up a few yards there on the right side of the field. Gain of about four in a much more manageable third down scenario. Drag does get ball at half, so if he can score a touchdown here, get that ball coming into the half, he's going to be in really good shape. Zen that Snugs formation. Um, a lot of people don't know. So there's Snugs. There's a lot of different formations like that. There's snugs. Uh, you've got gun tight flex, um, which is, in my opinion, a very difficult formation to stop. And that is the variation that I believe drag runs is that formation because you got a tight end out there. You've got a halfback. You can run the ball because it has an inside zone option. And you've also got that availability to pass the ball just effectively as you could in a snugs formation so there goes that inside zone which is by far been the most popular run this year and it gains absolutely nothing on the play actually he loses a yard which you don't see too often 
but some great defense there by Swizzy. He's running some man press right here. Let's see what he's got cooked up. As you can see, he's got Brown one-on-one -on, -one on the right side, which could be dangerous because he is a very fast receiver. Sherman's a great defender, but the one flaw with Sherman over the years has been his speed. So if he can get that matchup again and he gets Brown on a streak, there's a good chance that he can get a bit of separation just enough, get that run after the catch, and get into the end zone over the top. Right here, Swizzy setting up a cover too. So he has been mixing up his defenses just about every single play right now. Just trying to cause Drag to make a mistake, make a bad read. But so far, so good for Drag as he finds a read on the right side of the field and picks up the first down. 28 seconds left in the half. You guys don't need me to tell you that, but... Now the pressure is on this offense. He needs to get some yards. He needs to get them quick, and he needs to get a touchdown. He does not want to have to settle for three here. Hits the drag, gets stood up, and gains about five. Running some hurry up. He has no timeouts left, so it is absolutely critical. He either get out of bounds or avoid a sack on this play. Can I get tackled inbounds? Otherwise, he could end up costing himself points. Goes into the end zone. And just like I said, Larry Fitzgerald comes down with the catch. Touchdown, Cardinals. And that drive could not have gone any more perfect for Drag. He gets ball at half unless a miracle or something absolutely insane happens here. He's going to go into the half 7-7 and be receiving that football. So big ups, that is a huge play right there. That that right there is a jerky XP play of the game right there. <laughs> yes, sir. That was amazing, man. Goes up, gets that aggressive catch. One-on-one -on -one with Fitz or with Floyd. You have to take your chance every single time. Um, before we continue, can you guys let me know how the audio quality is in the chat? If we could get a good, great, awesome, or dang, bro, you really staticky or something crazy, you know, let me know in the chat. And then once you let me know how the audio quality is, if you could let me know how the visual quality is, that would be greatly appreciated as well. Goes up one versus six and gets nothing. Beautiful, beautiful. Appreciate that, Cap. Welcome to Gamersaloon.com. Challenge other gamers in the most popular skill-based video games for real cash prizes. Play head-to-head -head matches or in multiplayer tournaments on every major console, PC, and mobile device. Create an account, find your opponent, and go play. Report back and revel in your winnings. Millions of prizes have been awarded since 2006. Get in the action at GamerSaloon.com. Beautiful, beautiful. Appreciate that, Cap. Shout outs to Cap right there. A new name in the chat, man. If we got any newcomers to the chat, please let your name be known. We're going to show you guys some love, man. We love showing the chat love. True Boy, Drek, Oh Man, Gamer Saloon, big ups to those guys, man, big ups to those guys, Exhausted, Cap, appreciate the feedback, Shakobi, appreciate the feedback, Shakobi's one of our competitors, you guys are actually going to see him play on stream tonight, we've got a good matchup, but we will get into that when the time comes, now, what I want to show you guys is this awesomeness right here. This is just awesome. Just use this link and you guys can check out all the matchups we have tonight. Woo, it's just beautiful. So this first matchup, we got Drag taking on Swizzy. I mean, it, it, it gives you the bios of the players, gives you their backgrounds, where they're from, their favorite teams. I mean, my goodness. This just gives you everything you need to know about these pros tonight. It is awesome. So definitely 
definitely check out that link if you want to know a little bit more about our competitors as we get on with these matchups throughout the rest of the evening here and kind of give you guys an overlook on what to expect for season two one-on-one -on -one, and no oh my goodness brown takes all he he <laughs> whoa that was crazy how did he not get tackled right there he goes up gets the aggressive catch one-on-one -on -one, Mr. Brown comes down with it, lays down on the ground, takes a nap, gets up, and tries to score a touchdown. That was just absolute madness. That's something I would expect from Fitz, something I would expect from Floyd, but definitely not anybody else on the Cardinals team. The fact that he got that one-on-one -on -one versus Sherman is just absolutely insane. What is going on, Blood Money Take? True boy. So, another variable this year. I just want to make you guys aware of. So, for the season two, the players can play with regular teams, which you guys are all accustomed to and used to. The players also have the option, if they agree, they have the option, if they want to, to play Mutt Salary Cap mode. Now, what does that mean? Well, you guys are all getting ready for the big EA Salary Cap Tournament. Well they can use those teams as well if they feel like they got a nice squad and they want to go head to head with those squads so that is a major major variable this season that was not there that last season that can really cause some uh, interesting outcomes definitely some interesting outcomes seeing how that goes so one more time man i gotta give a big ups to our sponsors first off gamer saloon putting all this together making all this happen our next sponsor, StockX, man. They, psh, craziness, man. I went on a site for like five minutes, and I was like, bruh, I got to come back when I got like an hour or two just of time because they've literally got every single shoe I've ever wanted on that site. And I'm like, yep, I'm going to come back, but I I, I got to have some time because you can't just go on that site and, and click off. Like, you... Once you go on StockX, you're going to be on there for at least 30 minutes. I promise you. It is very addicting, man. They have literally every shoe on that site. It's just absolutely insane. So big ups to those guys. If you're into shoes, if you're a sneakerhead, anything like that, if you love shoes in general, StockX.com, man. Absolutely crazy. Our next sponsor, Jerky XP, man. All these companies coming out of Detroit, man. Big ups to Detroit. Jerky XP, I mean, I've already talked about the jerky. I might do a food review on Jerky XP. That's how good this jerky is, man. I'm going to try a couple different flavors. I'm going to put it up on the tube, give y'all that food review. The stuff is freaking awesome, man. Freaking awesome. They got a lot of different flavors. And they got a, a bro, they have a flavor that is a cinnamon bacon, Cinnabon bacon type. I can't describe it to you. You can only go check it out for yourself, man, but it is absolutely tasty. So you guys are going to definitely want to check those guys out. If you need some of that food fuel while you're playing, check those guys out. So with that said, Drag is taking the 14-7 lead. Swizzy here on offense about a minute to go in the third quarter in our first matchup of the night. We have four matchups, hopefully tonight. At the worst case, we're going to have three, and we're going to have turn-up season one way or another. This night is about to be lit. First night of season two, and it is going down. What's going on, Be More King? What is up? So how many guys do we have in the chat that are competing in this season? How many competitors are in the chat right now watching, observing, seeing what their opponents are doing, seeing what they're going to be facing Making sure that they are prepared for anything and everything that they are going to see uh, moving forward throughout this season. We have seen guys completely switch up schemes in the middle of the season. We have seen guys just get extremely good at running the scheme that they're running versus the various defenses. And we have seen guys just tweak things just a little bit in order to make their offense or defense more efficient and overall uh, effective. So, definitely a lot of different variety with these players. Definitely a lot of options and variables. 
throughout the weeks, you're going to see different playmakers, different route combinations, different times to go for the aggressive catch. Definitely going to see some DB loop or loop of some sort. You're definitely going to see some man press. You're definitely going to see some zone coverage, cover two, cover four, cover three, uh, zone blitzes. I mean, they literally are going to, you're going to see anything and everything that you can think of in Madden. These players are going to bring it and they're going to bring it at the highest level possible and really just mix it up. As if you've been paying attention, you have noticed Swizzy has been in a different defense just about every single play. I mean, he's going from two man under to DB loop to two man under to cover two to cover four to cover three to loop to. It's just every single time he's doing something different defensively, trying to just get that one big mistake um, to occur. So let's see what Drag does here. He's been hitting with that loop. You're going to see some of these competitors um, run the same defensive play several times in a row. But do not think it is the same play. It's the same play call, but it's not the same play. There is a difference. So when you make adjustments, there's a number of different ways, literally an infinite number of ways you can run a play. You can move a guy, put him in a flat zone. Next time, put him in a hook. Next time, blitz him. Um, literally an infinite number of plays you can run a play and these guys do that extremely well they run one play and they run it to perfection they man up the guy at the right time zone the guy at the right time do a fake blitz etc etc you guys get the idea they know who to use their know the adjustments to make and really just lock in on their opponents so those are two different approaches to defense some people mix up the plays some people mix up the adjustments some people mix up both but I can promise you, between all our competitors here, you're going to see a good mix of all three defensive mindsets. As well as coverage mindsets and blitz mindsets. Some people are blitz first, mixing the coverage. Some people are vice versa, etc., etc., etc. But most importantly, we're going to have fun, guys. This season, so excited for it, man. So excited because, man, last season was insane. I mean... <laughs> It was just insane. I mean, we got to the playoffs. We had six teams fighting for four spots in the very last week. Literally six teams could have made the playoffs, depending on how things went. The preseason favorite ended up getting that third seed in the playoffs. And from that third seed in the playoffs, they went undefeated in the playoffs. You know, they went 6-0 and in the playoffs. He almost gets intercepted right there. A very bad read for Swizzy as he forces it into almost triple coverage right there. A very questionable read from Swizzy. Oh, my goodness. There we go right there. Already a giveaway gamer saloon. Big ups to them doing a t-shirt giveaway. I got mine in medium. You know, I'm a pretty small fella. You guys have seen me. I'm a little guy. My name is Monster Chappy, by the way, if you didn't know. But uh, I like wearing my shirts kind of small. I need. I might need to get that sh medium ordered ASAP because, you know, I, I, I've i been in the gym a little bit. I'm trying to get my, my you know, LL Cool J on out here. But that's another story for another day. But, um, yeah, man, get you, get you a saloon shirt represent for the site that is making you all the bread all the money and making this season happen man so big ups to saloon give me a drink of water to that one right there that is what's up <laughs> what's going on mr hits that glitch What's good with you? If you guys don't know, that is one of our competitors right there. Man, we got competitors all over the chat right now. That is awesome, man. Awesome, awesome. I love seeing the competitors in here because they can give you guys some insight if you ask them. Now, them being pros, they might not want to tell you what they know. But you, you got to keep some secrets to yourself. You know, magician never reveals a secret. Man players rarely reveal their secrets. But uh, shout outs to Hollywood on the championship team. TBE himself 
They are our last season's winners, so big congrats to those guys. Hollywood in the house. He beat the MVP of the league in the final week. Joke was our season one MVP. He went 7-1 and one going into the finals, and he fell just short to Hollywood in the championship round as TBE completed the clean sweep. Gets the one-on-one -on -one look he was looking for on the left side of the field. Larry Fitzgerald unable to come down with it. Fourth and eight. This is a huge down right here. 22-yard line. But this is really big because he's going to punt. Very interesting decision here. I'm very surprised he's electing to punt the ball. I guess he trusts his defense. But a very, very interesting decision. If you trust your defense, you can go with the punt. But the reason most guys go for it right there is even if you don't think you're going to get it, now that he's at the 47, he has a lot more field to work with. Why is that a big deal? It's not really for the field position. It's not really for the, for the fact that, you know, he can go over the top or anything. Really... The fact that he's at midfield now gives him about 30, 35 more yards of area to work with. And in those 30, 35 more yards, he can kill a lot more clocks. So if he gets a first down, he can kill, you know, basically the rest of the game pretty easily now. Whereas if he only had 20 yards to work with, he could probably only get a first down, maybe two and at that point, he's got to get into the end zone. There's really no room for error. Um, and then he's in that red zone area. So he's interesting decision, nonetheless. Very interesting decision. Let's see if this pays off for drag here. Early game, first game of the season. And you guys are witnessing it here on Gamer Saloon. Drag route wide open. As Swizzy finds the man, picks up a nice chunk of change on that first down um, reception right there. So, he's coming out, Gun Ace Twins. This formation right here, especially out of Arizona, is nasty. Because that inside zone out of this, in my opinion, is one of the best inside zone plays in the game. Because you have a tight end on the left, you have a tight end on the right. So you can literally bring it back left. You can bring it to the right. Um, you can go up the middle. I mean, the blocking on it is typically really good. He didn't get much on that play. Very good users from drag. But that, in my opinion, is one of the better um, halfback inside zones in the game. He goes for a curl route. Russell Wilson throws a beautiful pass. However, those Seattle wide receivers do not have the best hands. And they will drop the ball if they get hit. And that is exactly what happened there on second down. A little bit of audible and coming out right here. Let's see what Swizzy's got cooked up. Goes to the gun bunch. Has it flipped. Has that bunch on the left side there. Flips it back to the right so we can get a little bit more space on that side of the field. A little bit more audible -ing. And this is one thing that you do not have available to you in MUT or in salary cap or in draft champs you do not have your own custom audibles and that's a really big deal because you know the fact that Swizzy can go from a four verts to a Z spot to an inside zone to a halfback screen those types of things you cannot do currently in those other game modes which is why these professionals love playing with regular teams because you can have that ability to use a scheme to its fullest potential use and get the most out of an individual playbook and really just cause your opponent headaches goes with the inside zone here picks up about four he could have probably gained a lot more yards on that play but like i said earlier he wants to kill some clock here he does not want to allow any time on the clock when drag gets the ball back a given that Swizzy's going to score a touchdown. Swizzy's assuming he's going to score a touchdown. If he gets stopped, that's pretty much GG either way. But you'll notice he's not going to want to use any timeouts right here. 
Um, because, again, if he does get stopped, he wants the ability to get that ball back. Um, but at the same time, he needs to get into the end zone and get a touchdown. What's going on, Prime? How you doing, man? I hope I'm not too loud or too quiet uh, in the chat. Any feedback on that is good. If I if I don't hear anything, I'm assuming the volume level is good. But uh, <laughs> those are the good old days right there, man. Good old days right there. Goes with the halfback sting with Marshawn Lynch, and he gets to the one-yard line. That play literally could not have gone any better for Swizzy. He's going to kill some clock here, and now he's likely going to go with the QB sneak and try to get into the end zone. Does the little fake shuffle, pass, lateral. We don't really know what to call that. <laughs> But we do know that it works. And if you guys have been playing Madden this year, that is a tough thing to stop unless you have good sneak defense. There is ways to stop it, but you do need that sneak defense in order to slow it down. Otherwise, if that quarterback doesn't get hit in that first split second, that's going to be um, pretty much impossible to slow down. <laughs> What's going on, Hollywood? King Joke, our previous season's MVP. What's going on, Saint? Be more, be Ville. Okay, the chat is getting lively. They are expecting a big play. He said he doesn't have Calvin, but he does have, oh my goodness, Floyd and Fitzgerald. Can he get something glitchy here? The only issue is that if he does catch the ball, even on a 50, 60 yard bomb, he's gonna get tackled and bounce more than likely. So it's gonna be critical that he either get a, a nice little 30 yard gain and gets out of bounds or 25, something where Palmer can get the ball into the end zone uh, and go for that last second Hail Mary. What's going on, Laguerre? So he goes with the three man deep, has a man underneath. Breaks a tackle, but does not break enough. And that is going to wrap it up for this ball game. Our first victor for season two. Swizzy over drag. A very good first matchup. I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay. 17-14. We are far from done, though. We are far from done.